Members of the Slippery Rock University football program were special guests at Michigan Stadium last Saturday. The salute was the brainchild of athletic director Dave Brandon. Their season ended this last week, so it was an unusual time where their folks would be available to come for a game. The kids had never been here. The coach hadn't been here for years, so we said, come on, we're going to introduce you and, and remind everybody how great this tradition is. And they were terrific about it, and they were very excited to be here. Unbelievable. I mean, I've never experienced nothing like this. Uh, at the big house, can't believe it. it's a dream come true. You know, coming from a small Division II school, you, know, you get 10,000 out of a game, maybe. It's unbelievable. The idea of having Slippery Rock as America's favorite small college football team belonged to Don Cannon who invited the Rock and the Shippensburg State team to play a game at the Big House in 1979. More than 61,000 people attended, making it the largest Division II crowd in history. Fortunately, I was uh, at the Rock back in 1979 when we actually played here and then again in 81. So I've known about the great relationship between uh, the Big Blue and uh, Slippery Rock for quite a few years. When I got recruited, you know, coaches told me, you know, it's worldwide known uh, Slippery Rock old school in the area of Pennsylvania. Uh, you know, it, they said they announced the scores at games. I was shocked. I was like, wow, really? And I never really believed it until now I came here. You know, seeing you know, Slippery Rock on the, the Jumbotron, it's a dream come true. University of Michigan is college football. And for myself and our players and staff, who are here today. It's just a fantastic gesture by U of M and their hospitality, and we appreciate it very much. We're all about tradition here in Michigan, and I played here back in the 70s. I remember it well. The crowd went crazy. We kind of adopted Slippery Rock, and it was a lot of fun, and it carried on for a lot of years. They had the games there. It was important to them, and it was important to us. I think we let it go, and that was kind of too bad, so we're resurrecting it, and they're great guys. I had a chance to meet their athletic director and their coach. They're great people. It's a terrific program. They really get a lot of excitement out of this, and our fans love it, so why not?